What is going on guys? My name is Etika and this is the Etika World Network. You already know this, but we finally have confirmation of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And being quite honest with you, I thought 3 was going to be the last iteration. We did get some context clues from Scott after the fact that kind of showed that it wouldn't be, but I still felt like 3 was a good place to leave the series alone. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say a good place because it's not like I feel like it's a bad series. The gameplay may be a little repetitive, and but you know, at the end of the day here, it's still an interesting story. Story. I just know that a lot of people hate the game because it focuses on jump scares to scare people, which normally would be considered a cheap tactic in my book, but I mean, the game's story is where I'm really pulled in. Either way, there's confirmation of a Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and if we go to Scott Cawthorn's website, we can actually see this, but it hasn't been loading for me because the website's been hit with so many users over the past hour and a half, two hours even, that I can't even access it. So I mean, if we try to reload the page here, Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll actually see what the website, oh, here we go, here we go. It didn't work before, I'm telling you, I was reloading the page so much and it didn't work before, but now it's working. However, I'm not seeing whatever it is that confirms Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Um, I did see a picture that a lot of people linked me to on Twitter, but other than that, I didn't see anything from the official website. So if you do try to go to his page at this current moment, you will see whatever we're about to see. And yeah, the website is barely even loading. I mean, you guys see, I've been having this problem all day. This is the furthest that it's ever been able to get to. And I guess it's just from all those people that are going on trying to see what's good with the new Five Nights game. In my honest opinion, I feel like this looks like it's going to be the last game. But then again, three looked like it was gonna be the last game, but this one looks really fucked up. If this, yeah, this thing isn't loading for me, guys. I mean, there's so many of you that love Five Nights that are checking out the page right now. It's totally impossible for me to see anything happening here. Um, let's try it one more time. If it doesn't work, we'll just resort to going to Twitter and seeing what people have to say there. Which I'll actually do right now because this is just not working out well for us. So we're on Twitter right now and here's where a ton of you guys have been telling me all this. Um, even Kotaku did an article on it. Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the final chapter announced. So this is the final chapter? All right then. Okay, so we, we can't get the website to work, guys. I really do apologize about this, but you know what, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go check out the Kotaku article because they are very thorough with stuff that they do do research on. So I know some people don't like Kotaku, but hey. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, last week, people were freaking out about a blank image that they thought might be teasing a new Five Nights game. And what they're referencing here is that on Scott's website, the hat had actually disappeared that was on the floor, which made everyone initially think that three was the last game. When the hat disappeared, everyone was like, okay, well, this this is the good place to wrap it up. The game's in the future. That's it. To be honest with you guys, I didn't beat Five Nights at Freddy's 3, nor did I play through it because I've just been so busy with this setup and I wanted to play it on stream with you dudes, of course, all games I wanted to play on stream. And I finally had this sexual microphone here, which I'll be able to use to play Five Nights at Freddy's and every single other game that I'm being requested to play right now, Etika version, all that stuff. So it's coming. It's definitely coming. But it looks like I really gotta finish the game now because it's not the final game. Um, apparently four is, and this image is, is fucked up. Like, it looks really fucked up. But um, let's see what Kotaku has to say. Um, everyone thought these people were crazy, but it turns out they were right. Via the official Scott Cawthorn website, here's a teaser image for the next Five Nights game. This one will presumably be the last one in the series, judging from the title, but what in the world is going on with Freddy's body? Yeah, what the fuck is happening with Freddy's body? Where will this game be set? It's a little, a little too early to tell, of course. Um, I'll be reporting new information as it comes out. Apparently, the game has an October 31st, 2015 release date. I can't see that clearly, though. No one seems to have like a clear HD image of what is on the main website right now. And it's not loading for me because the website goddamn can't load because there's so many people hitting it up. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wish I could see that thing right now in full view, but it's just not working. Um, yeah, it's just not working. Um, I know people like It's Mike and Fusion Z Gamer are going to love this, going to jump all on top of it. And of course, your boy Iceman Etika will be providing coverage on this as well too. So if you want to keep up with the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 news and whatnot, and especially keep up with me gaming through 3, now that I finally have my mic and my triple monitor set up for streaming, this shouldn't be an issue. So hit your boy, hit your boy up if you need to find out some more 
about this game in the future. I'll be trying to report on it as soon as possible as I do with a lot of other things, which I've just been slacking on lately because of preparing gaming. But now gaming is prepared, so stuff will come out more regularly, more frequently, and much more on time. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Scott, once again, man, you're after our hearts with another iteration, which looks like it's going to be the scariest, most fucked up one yet. And, you know, that mind-bending horror attribute that Five Nights 4 has, it looks like it's going to have, it's just, oh man. But um, on top of everything else, I have to beat three, so find out what happens in the story. I mean, I didn't, I didn't do it, and I didn't watch any videos on it. I didn't want to get spoiled until I can play it through it myself. So either way, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.